one month. Let's do this. Hey guys, Fletcher here, and I am, as of today, officially one month on testosterone. Yeah. So the biggest change that I've noticed is that T has turned me into a fuckboy. I wish I was kidding. Like, first off, there's my general attire. I have not worn a backwards hat in about seven years and I wore one the other day and my best friend, who's known me for many years, who has seen me in various unflattering outfits, didn't recognize me in public. That's how different a backwards hat makes me look. I'm also wearing my first tank top in a really long time. Add that to the fact that there are now weights in my uni dorm and I'm actually using them regularly. And the fact that I've been trying to choke down this disgusting protein shake. Tea's changed me, man. It's changed me. I actually do feel quite uncomfortable. This is like not my usual quirky brand identity I'm trying to create. So I'm gonna go change into something more me. Okie dokie. Right. Jumpers. Like them. So the first thing that I will say about being one month on tea is that it's incredibly hard to recognize if something has changed. Because at this point any changes that will have happened will be minimal and hard to notice and I'm quite reluctant to say that it's definitely a tea change and not just psychosomatic or my body just kind of changing about because it does that sometimes. I also just want to say that when I started tea I also tried to eat healthier and do more exercise so any changes I have could be because of that or could be because of the tea or both of them helping each other out. I don't know. So firstly my voice. I don't think that my voice is noticeably different when I'm talking to people but I have noticed that I can get it lower when I am trying to. My mum did say that my voice seemed lower, so that's nice. And also kind of connected to that, I guess, I'm feeling some difference in my neck. I feel like a slight Adam's apple coming on, obviously not fully. Um, and my neck seems a bit thicker. I feel like I have more collarbones. I don't know if he's meant to do that, but I, I feel it. Sorry, my car just ran out, so I had to go fix that. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've noticed uh, some fat loss in my thighs, which is great. It's making me look slightly more like straight up and down. Um, don't know if that's because he's moving it or if because of the exercise and the diet I'm simply just losing weight. Either way, good. I've also noticed that I'm getting some hair on my knees. Which, I have pretty hairy legs. I have always had them. I used to hate them, but now I'm very proud of them. I've always been able to grow really thick and dark hair on my legs, but they always magically stopped at my knee and became hairless. So now I'm getting hair on my knees. And that's pretty much everything that's happened. Nothing big, but it's good to know that stuff is happening. Going on to talk about emotional changes. I've spent this month in a pretty good mood. Even just like going about my regular life, walking to uni or getting up in the morning, I've just been happier and I don't know why. I usually do think that my mental health improves quite a lot in spring because um, I don't like the, the cold and the dark of winter. It usually affects me quite a lot. But I will keep talking about my mental health on tea and see if I notice anything changing because right now I'm feeling good. One thing I will say about being on tea though is that this month has gone so slowly. I remember I would go up to my friends and be like oh it has to have been a month by now and they would just turn to me and say Fletcher it's been a week. I wanted to make my one month on tea video since I started tea. I kept feeling like it had to have been a month by that point and it wasn't. But now it is, so that's good. Just waiting for two months, three, four, a year. My face has gotten a little more oily. I have noticed that. Thankfully, I haven't broken out in tons of spots yet because I have some pretty good skincare stuff, but I, like, I'm like i aware of it changing and I do have to wash my face a lot more now. I also sweat more now, which I don't like. I was walking up to uni, I have to walk up uh, a hill to uni 
um, and I was sweating so much. I'm also hungry all the time. I will be sitting in my bed having eaten perfectly fine during the day, having had a big dinner and I'll be lying in bed not wanting to sleep because I can't stop thinking about bagels. I'm hungry, I'm sweaty, I'm spotty. I need to pee all the time. I don't know if this is a testosterone thing because I haven't heard other guys mention it in their tea updates at any point. But I need to pee all the time. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for listening and I will see you at some point. Goodbye.